Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. In the Microsoft Edge web browser on desktop, as many of you may know, we have a little tool that's called Web Select. Now, in case you're unaware, Web Select is a stripped down version basically of Web Capture. And if we click on Web Select, that just lets us select, in case you didn't know, just lets us select a part and portion of a web page and then we can copy that for future use and reference. Now if I head over in the stable version of Edge on Desktop to the PDF Reader and Viewer, currently in the stable version if I head back to the menu, Web Select is grayed out so it's not an option to be used on a PDF document where Web Capture is and currently Web Select is not available to be used to um, select any text or part of that a PDF file in the stable version. Now if I head to Edge Canary which is a preview version of the browser and I head back to the um, the PDF viewer and reader and we navigate back to the menu. Yeah, we can see that Microsoft has started to make Web Select available as an option now for PDF documents in Edge Canary. So over and above now having Web Capture as a tool for PDF documents, we also now have Web Select. And if we click on that, it says select and drag to make a selection. Choose copy, control and C on your keyboard and you can copy your selection and just to demonstrate if I drag and just select part of that text, yeah, I can copy that for future use and reference. And also it's available um, if you do have the uh, shortcut button enabled, you can enable it um, from the toolbar, web select, as we can see it's available as an option. And also if you go to the uh, toolbar of the actual PDF viewer and reader and you right click on that in the context menu, it's also available web select. And as mentioned, that just lets me now copy some of that text and I can copy that for future use and reference. So, and the web select now available as an option for PDF documents in Edge Canary. So, hopefully, this will be made available in an upcoming stable version of the browser. And as always, I will keep you posted if I get any more information. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.